forces, tendons are important in all gaits. Notice that in walking, each leg moves separately and that the horse's body is always supported by at least two legs. Walking is a very stable gait, both for horse and rider. To go faster, the gait changes to a trot. Now the legs work as diagonal pairs. There's more flexing and bending of the legs, and also a suspended phase. These changes serve to increase the stride length. The use of diagonal pairs of legs is particularly clear here, as is the spring in the hooves, showing the action of the tendons. The suspended phase means more up and down movement, and we see the rider rising to the trot. Longer legs are another way of increasing the stride length, but camels have legs so long that the front and back legs risk bumping into each other were the camel to trot. Instead, camels pace. Legs on the same side move together rather than the diagonals. This makes for a swaying ride as the camel's centre of gravity yaws from side to side. 